thank you for watching the video so far and I'm going to talk a little bit more about Great Blue, my latest uh, addition to the sculptor made from stiffened material. The inspiration for Great Blue was just seeing a picture really, I think it was sort of something like that of this beautiful blue heron and I just felt I would like to produce that and having already uh, had experience creating Final Approach, which you may have seen. Uh, I'd learned a little bit more about what the material can do uh, using stiffened material. But what I decided with this, and you'll have seen in the, some of the images, that uh, to start with a skeleton. I thought it would help me understand a little bit more about how the bird um, comes together. There is some aluminium, uh, and actually a stainless steel mesh which I found is very um, strong, but not so easy to bend. Um, but there we go, that was a learning experience. Um, but that's constructed around the, the body as well. But it gives him a very firm, strong body. And it kind of intrigues me that you don't often see sculptures of birds in flight with the wings open. Generally with the herons, um, see quite a lot of them uh, in stone or finished off in bronze, you know, standing on their one leg, which is how we often see them. Uh, and I can understand it's probably quite difficult to create a, quite a thin wing product with certain materials like uh, stone, um, and even to a certain extent with the bronze, it becomes quite difficult to get too thin. Whereas if the material really lends itself to being able to do that, then you end up with a very lightweight product. So this bird is, is probably in that process of just having taken off. I've looked at various images of, of uh, herons, and the neck tends to, does go back more in, in long flight. So I sense that this bird is uh, just taken to flight. And um, as I said, it's very light. You can see from here, you can take it, lift it. It's actually a lovely thing to play with and just hold. So it is based on the great blue heron. That was the coloring that I looked at. I looked at various forms. They vary in certain ways. Some have a little bit more blue. Um, but I was attracted to this particular uh, coloration. And it's finished uh, in acrylic paints, and then there's a product called Josephine, which um, Parvapol make, and Parvapol the product for the stiff material, that this has been covered in. It's a matte external varnish, which will protect the colors. So this uh, sculpture could live outside, if that was what you wanted. The span is about 120 centimeters, so quite a, a long space. It would probably sit nicely on a against a wall on a shelf or something. I hope maybe you get a chance to come see Great Blue in either my own home, if uh, we get a chance to do an open house, or at an exhibition, in fact. And uh, Great Blue Wolf is going on exhibition very shortly. Uh, so look at my website, catch up on what we're doing, which is uh, www.triguity.com. So thank you very much, and Thank you for watching.